Hello and welcome to the Natural Chemograms video. Thank you so much to Air Gallery for supporting this video. Air Gallery are based in Altrincham near to Stockport and Manchester and they're a really amazing space. Over the next couple of weeks Air Gallery are making quite a few different workshops from lots of different artists so go and check out their Instagram to find out more about that. So the chemogram process was invented by Pierre Cordier an artist based in France and he uses a chemogram process with lots of different types of resists to stop chemicals getting onto photographic paper. You would usually hear about resists in a kind of ceramics or printmaking scenario. Substances such as honey or jam stop photographic developer getting to photographic paper in a different setting to ceramics and printmaking the photographic paper starts developing once it is exposed to light so you'll see all of these interesting changes as you're making the print. In a previous video I showed the chemogram process however today we'll be learning the natural chemogram process which uses plant-based developers and things from our kitchen cupboards and gardens. In this video today I'll show you how to make caffeinol which will then apply to the photographic paper in a pintily fashion and we'll also be using things like turmeric to apply directly to the photographic paper. So if you haven't got coffee, um, you can use different plants from your garden to make your own developer. Instead of using fixer, you can also use salt water. So you need to mix 350 grams of salt into water and then you'll need to leave the photographic paper in the salt water for up to 24 hours, maybe even longer. This stabilises the print but it doesn't necessarily fix it. Stabilising and fixing are different things but it will maintain your images and like a fixer does. So now we'll go ahead and make our photographic developer. So the first thing that you need to do is measure out 40 grams of soda crystals. I am using these dry pack soda crystals which can be found in most supermarkets in the UK. 40 grams. I'm then going to mix in the soda crystals with 500 milliliters of water or approximately half a litre. You need to make sure that these are dissolved really well. Please mix these until all of the soda crystals are dissolved. You can tell by looking at the bottom of the jug. I'm then going to mix in 10 grams of vitamin C. So I'll check this is dissolved properly first. It looks okay to me. And now I'm going to put in my vitamin C and it should fizz up quite a bit. It actually doesn't fizz up very much at all there, but never mind. This also needs to be dissolved really well. We're now going to add 17 grams of coffee. So I'm using basic Aldi instant coffee, so you need something like this, instant coffee works the best. It's gone to 12 grams but that will be fine. And this actually froths up quite a lot. So mix in that coffee really well. Then we're going to top this up to one litre and pour it into a tray. Now mix up some fixer. So you'll need old fixer, expired fixer mixed in at one to four with uh, water. If you don't want to use fixer, you can use salt and water mix. So to remind you that's 350 grams 
of salt mixed in with a litre of water and you need to leave your paper in there at the end for up to 24 hours. It's also really important to cover your surfaces while you're working, so I'm using some recycled paper left over from packaging. So what I'm going to do now is apply the developer directly onto the photographic paper using a paintbrush and this stencil. I'm holding the stencil down so that the chemicals find it harder to get underneath. And I'm going to try and do this as carefully as possible. You should start to see the photographic paper starting to turn black. Can you see how it's changing here? It's kind of going a greenish colour. As well as adding developer, you can also add your honey and your jam at this point or anything that's kind of sticky like a resist. I'm now going to add fixer to show you the difference. Salt water won't have as pronounced an effect. Oh wow, that's gone right underneath. Whoops! Now I've applied the developer and fixer, I'm going to put on my turmeric. I'm actually just going to put a tiny bit of this on, as a small amount as I can. So this is just zoomed in to let you see the turmeric properly. So it's just literally sprinkled onto the photographic paper. Now I'm going to lightly chuck some developer at the stencils. You could use a spray bottle in place of a paintbrush. The idea is to really be creative and expressive when it comes to making chemograms. I'm now going to take off the stencil and you can see what's happened underneath. So you can now see that the stencil has left these really amazing circle shapes and you can see actually that the paper is now starting to respond to light, it's going a kind of purpley pink colour. The next step is that I'm going to alternate this piece of paper in between the developer and the fixer about every two seconds for one minute. I'm just putting half in so you can see the difference. So now I'm trying to knock the turmeric out of the way so that the fixer can only get to the places where the turmeric has been, which should result in a kind of mottled effect, which has worked. 
So that is the purpose of using things like jam and honey to stop, fix that and develop a getting to the paper until you actually need it to be there. The nice thing about this is it's making a nice colour, a nice orangey brownie colour that you wouldn't usually get with standard developer. I'm now leaving this in the fixer for two minutes and this is standard fixer. If you're not using standard fixer and you're using salt water, you'll need to leave it in there for 24 hours. I'm then going to wash the print for 10 minutes and that's for resin coated paper. If you're using fibre based paper, it may be more like 20 minutes to half an hour depending on what you're using. Once you've finished the chemogram, you can put it to dry either by hanging it up or leaving it to dry on some newspaper or recycled paper and then you can start another chemogram. I'm just going to zoom in and show you more details. This speckled area is where the turmeric landed. The turmeric stopped the developer and the fixer getting to the paper and then when I put the print with the turmeric on into the fixer I knocked the turmeric off with my paintbrush and the fixer was allowed to get onto the photographic paper. So that is why these parts remain white. Similarly, when the developer got to the paper first, that area has gone completely black. So this is the end of the video. Thank you very much to Air Gallery for supporting this video. If you'd like to find out more about me, you can go on my website which is melaniek.co.uk You can go to my YouTube channel which is Melanie King and you can also join my Patreon which is linked below and there you'll find videos about all my experimental photography processes and if you sign up to a £10 tier and above you'll also get a monthly postcard. Thanks very much for watching.